Good afternoon, good afternoon, welcome back. We are back with another video. If you are new, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're returning guests, you know how we do kick off our shoes, like, and share the video. This video is under the Fair Juice Act, and the Fair Juice Act is in the description box of the video, as well as the About and section of this platform. The Fair Juice Act is used to educate you guys on what we are covering on this particular platform. Please keep in mind that this video and all my videos are allegedly as well as educational purposes only. What is going on with Jip Jip? <laughs> you got the guys going back and forth. And, whew, Ryan is just not, he's just not going without a fight, y'all. It doesn't matter how much you encourage him. It doesn't matter how much you try to make him see his worth. He's just not trying to give Gypsy Rose to Ryan without a fight. And so we know that they've been back and forth on the phone. Kind of like the same thing that was going on when she was actually living with Ryan when she was sneaking with Ken on the phone and her mother-in-law was, I guess, allegedly no, excuse me, her mother-in-law was allegedly passing messages back and forth, staying in touch with Ken. Now, the mother-in-law has not kept it a secret that if her children break up with their lovers or their boyfriends, that she's still going to rock out with them. <laughs> like, you can't make this up. I'm not saying that she should, you know, hate anybody or anything like that, but I do feel like you are wrong if you walk from the past into somebody's new space, especially if you're going to have them all over and do all these crazy different things. This stepmother is something else. It's like she wants everybody to come over and let's Let's, let's get all about Gypsy. Come on, Ken. You come on over. It's okay. Ryan to stay home today. We're going to have Ken over. <laughs> that is crazy. Any event, looks like Ken snatched Gypsy's phone while Gypsy was talking to Ryan. If you go back, Ryan went to his live the other day. He was saying basically Gypsy calls him too and he got receipts too and all these different kind of things. But my thing is this. Gypsy needed the order protection from Ryan because he ate too much, he snored too much. He kind of shook her up and she ran in the bathroom or whatever the case. But from our understanding and from what they have put out to the universe, there never, there's never been any physical with Ryan and Gypsy. But I would say if somebody snatched my phone, that's physical. <laughs> you know what I mean? So is she downtown? trying to get an order against Ken as well? Or is she still going to play like Ryan is bothering her, harassing her, and it was time that Ken put him in his place and all these different kind of things. First of all, Ken was with Ryan's wife. Ken was calling and texting Ryan's wife. And so now that Gypsy decides to go over there and camp out with Ken until the divorce goes through, she thinks that it's okay for Ryan and Ken to be going back and forth, sort of to make her feel like, you know, they're, they're fighting over her, if you will. I don't think that it's a fight. I think that Ryan, again, he, he, he don't feel like Gypsy doesn't really love him, considering that he was the one that actually married her. However, with Ken, Ken is, maybe she is showing some kind of emotion towards Ryan, because why would Ken kill if she's on the phone? Ken didn't care to call her while she was with her husband, so just because you guys are shacking the Allegedly doesn't mean that her husband still can't call her. Because, I don't know, did you guys see, I, I can't find, did you find the divorce papers? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Anyway, I don't think that it's right that Ken snatch her phone. And it's like, I would say that that would be more hurtful than me because that is a form of violating my privacy. However, you know, it wasn't a big deal when she was talking to Ken and Ken knew she was home with Ryan. So why is things one sided? Why is it like not a, why is it things can't be the same way? Like I don't understand that. So Ken get to be mad at Gypsy's husband because I again I, I don't see that they are legally divorced as of yet. If they are I recamp this video. Like why is it okay for Ken to be reaching out and talking to Gypsy behind the scenes while she home and married to Ryan, but it's not okay for Ryan to be talking and acting with Gypsy. So, do Ken feel like Gypsy is weak and Gypsy is vulnerable and Gypsy may run back to Ryan? 
could be. <laughs> it could be. You know, I, I don't understand what the fight is about. The, the, the fight about who's going to be the first to poof. You guys know what I mean. Because at this point, I don't know what the heck is going on. I really don't. I don't know what's going on. I'm not understanding what's the big deal. I'm not understanding. Like, she already showed Ryan who she was. Like, even with Ken, for her to be, you know, just to run from over there with Ryan and end up with him like two, three days or weeks later, that should show Ryan, that should show Ken that Gypsy's not really about nothing either. So she says that her heart has always been with Ken. Okay, but you still married a whole nother man. You still moved in with this man. You took this man money and commissary. All these different things. So now that it's time to go on the Hollywood tour, now she wants to take Ken. But if she is indeed in love with Ken, why are you still talking to Ryan if you were so scared that you wanted a divorce and an order and all these different kind of things? Why are you still, this is what one thing, uh, and it bothers me when people do order protection and all these different kind of things and then you're still in touch and you're still being bothered and you're still picking and doing. If you're scared, you're scared. Why are you even, please? That, <laughs> it says a lot. It says that she's really not in fear of Ryan. And it says that she could have possibly lied again because that's what she does, allegedly lie, manipulate. I don't know. I just feel like if I was Ryan, I would definitely, definitely would not be letting them give me no order protection. I would take all my receipts downtown, downtown and let them know, in fact, that she still is in touch, that she is still communicating. In fact, that she has a significant other bothering me. Like, you don't get to bother me. Go on where you going now. You know what I mean? I don't play them games. Go on where you going. You know, the next don't get the call and, and be bothering. Or, But, again, he's calling knowing that Gypsy is with Ken. And Ken is like, well, he knows that she's with me. So why is he calling? Why is he bothering you? Why is he interfering with our relationship? Well, Ken didn't feel that way when he was interfering in Ryan and Gypsy relationship. So why is it a big deal now that Ryan... Is talking to Gypsy. Seems like Ken don't even want Gypsy and Ryan to be friends. But it was okay for Ken to be friends. But Gypsy, when she was with Ryan, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy, y'all. This is crazy. I don't know what's going on. Like I said, I would definitely, definitely be in court with the receipts and then she would not be getting no order protection because if she was really scared, why is she still in communication with the person? Why are you still bothering Ryan if you're that scared? It doesn't make sense. So I'm thinking that she filed the order protection just to get time to execute what she wanted to do, meaning get back with Ken and, you know, make it official and those kind of things. But on the divorce end, you know, all this that's going on on social media is going to be in Ryan's favor if you got any sense because it, it just don't. I mean, y'all got y'all seen Ryan with anybody kissing and shacking and doing? No. We haven't, but we definitely seen Gypsy Rose <laughs> all over the place, causing confusion for everybody she come up against. So why is it that what's good for her isn't good for everybody else? Like why is things one sided when it comes to Gypsy Rose? Told y'all Gypsy is still mentally a child, allegedly, in my opinion. Mentally. She hasn't had time to grow. You know, she thought she was grown when she got her out that wheelchair and ran off with Nicholas and tell him it was time to talk to the popo. Then she wanted to be a baby again. No, I didn't. I don't know. I don't want to hurt anybody. Girl, she been hurting people from the time she went to jail to the time she came out to jail. Allegedly, she was hurting people inside the jail by telling and doing. Make it make sense. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about this whole situation with Gypsy and Ryan. Do you guys think that 
Ryan should just bow out gracefully. No, bow out gracefully, for he find himself in a legal situation. Do you guys think Ten has the audacity to take Gypsy Rose's phone and not allow her to talk to Ryan, considering? He was talking to Gypsy when her and Ryan was living together. I don't know, guys. Make it make sense. Y'all hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Catch you guys on the next video. You be blessed.